Good afternoon. Well, we are on our first camping trip. Just a short overnight trip. So we're gonna see how the dogs do today. Um, we'll see do. how we'll see how Miss Vicky does today. <laughs> That's the big this test. This is the hardest thing for me to do: go away for the day. So and not come back. Yeah. So this is our ease into it camping because this is a campground that we uh, took you to our last day trip. I think we went to this campground for the day site. That's where I found my racks. Yep. So we're going to go camping. We're going to be camping along the lake. And uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of nice because uh, we got ready this morning and we didn't have to rush. Yes. Because the check-in time is so late in the afternoon that we don't have to hurry up. And, uh, you know, I, I packed the cooler and I unpacked the cooler. I put everything in my fridge. Yeah. So that's one last thing we got to deal with, walking around a cooler. That's right. So it's going to get easier for us as we're going along. We just got to figure everything out. Figure out what we need and what we don't need. And Today's a test of uh, camping and seeing if everything works. And if everything doesn't work, then we'll fix it when we get back. And I already found out in my little pantry area that everything's got to be little to fit in there. <laughs> so, yeah, there's going to be a little stuff, things that we're going to figure out as we're going. Because the storage is nowhere near what it was on our last uh, travel trailer we had. We well, the pantry's smaller, but the other cupboards are fine. We just gotta put it in different spots, I guess. Yep. So, we'll get it figured out. And the smell doesn't seem like it's as bad. We did get that damp red in here that helped. And I think we got all the leaks fixed, also. So, oh, let's see at the campground. We're setting up on site number 80. What's your last name? Mather. M-A-T-H-E-R. I have Mark. a... Mark! That's me. That's you. Do you have a recreation passport? Absolutely. Yes. Well, of course you do. Do you know... Have you been here before? No. Uh, we have not been here in about 10 years. Maybe I better give you a man. Please. Yeah. Let me just check this one more time. That goes right up there. Now okay. if you go in or out, we don't stop you. Well, we're all in for here for the night, so we don't plan on going out. We don't we're plan gonna... on going anywhere anyway. Do you need a dump station or anything? Nope, we're all set. All right, you just go right around to the left-hand side. Go past the scenic dumpsters. You come to a cabin. The scenic dumpsters, right. awesome. They're very scenic. <laughs> uh, on the cabin on your right, that's the start of our two-lane road. Okay. In the park, there's only one two-lane road. Everything else is one way. You go all the way to the bathhouse. Okay. Can okay, I miss it? No, start up now. We're going. I'm that following way? that way. Hang left. You, yeah, you can't get. You can't. I mean, you're going to follow it around, turn to the left on the two lane, and when you get to the bathhouse, turn to the left, and 80's right there. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. All right, thanks. And if so, just come back. I'll visit with you. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, this is a wonderful campground. I just love this campground. People are so pleasant here. The lady that we just got, or we're just giving us directions to, she's been here for a long time. And uh, always a pleasure here. Dogs are all excited because they know where they're at. They think they know. They think they know. All they gotta do is see people and they get excited. <laughs> yes. Nice hiking trails. They're all paved now. They weren't paved when we were here last. Raw ground. I thought they were. Well, maybe 
there's some of them, but I don't remember exactly. I know they're always upgrading. Yes. This is nice about these state parks. They're always improving. You know, a little bit here, a little bit there, but they're always improving. So they do have a dump station if we need to dump. Yep, we will be dumping um, tomorrow when we've... Abby, you're going to get in the pack. Get in the pack. Going back. Get in the pack. Where are we at? Oh, these are the... Yep. These are the fancy dumpsters. Yeah, the scenic dumpster, she called them. Which is funny. <laughs> oh boy, look at the campfires. Oh yeah. And our favorite campsite is uh, kind of straight ahead to the right, but um, we're not going to... Uh... She said turn left, right? I think so. Oh boy, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, this campground is completely full. I think she said turn left. Oh, look at there's firewood. Yep. Uh, quarter, quarter, 30 bucks, okay. We'll have to come down here and uh, get some, I guess. One way, one Oh, wow, way. this is different down here. Oh, wait, wow. It's Huge real. difference. Oh, wow, look at the new bathhouse. Yeah, see, this was uh, nowhere near what it was when we were here. This is beautiful. Oh, they got new bathrooms down here. Oh, my bathrooms goodness. Bathrooms and showers. Wonderful. Kids everywhere. This is gonna be tight, but I see a big camp. There's 77. These people must be just setting up. Yes, they are. And there's our campsite. We just gotta get everybody out of our way. Imagine that. This one right here? That one right there. No. So it's a. Uh, well, it's not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm going to take my. Uh, oh, I got to put the seatbelt back on because otherwise you're going to go beep, 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 beep. Hey, Abby girl. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Seems to be okay so far. It's always nice to see how people camp, how they set everything up. Yes, I know there's a... There it is. Yep. If I would have continued on, I would have taken out the Look at that right? light post right there. Yeah. That's beautiful. Nice they made... Home. Looks like they made that. Street light. They made it out of pipe. That's pretty cool. Just relax, little girl. Yes, we're going to have to level this up. It's tilted backwards. Well, we got her all set up and uh, not quite level. We didn't have enough leveling blocks, but that's good enough. What do you got to say for yourself, Iggy? I guess we're camping. I can't figure this radio out, though. I don't know why we're having such a hard time with the radios in inside the cab and out here, but I don't know. I'll get it figured out eventually. I don't know. So anyhow, this is going to be a great night of camping. It's uh, we uh, having distractions of people going by, but uh. We were going to get a bundle of firewood right away, and the machine is out, so I called the phone number, and the guy's loading up. He's going to be around here shortly, so can't go camping without a campfire, so and then we're going to go for a little walk here in a bit. Finally made her to downtown. Dogs are fighting a little bit, pulling a little bit harder because it's an all-new area for them. There is nobody around. Focus, focus. I think Kieran's done a number on this. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm eating my breakfast. <laughs> I didn't have to do too much cooking. I just uh, bought one of those smart ones. Eggs, bacon, and potato. 
microwave breakfast. Yeah. yeah, it's not the best breakfast, but... You know what? It's better than eating cookies. <laughs> not by much. <laughs> uh, we did not get much video yesterday afternoon. Well, actually, we didn't get any video because we were just getting everything situated and calming the dogs down. And then our daughter and her husband showed up. And we had dinner with them and just uh, sat around and relaxed. So. Dinner consisting of hot dogs on the fire. Yep. And chips. And what do we have for dessert? Uh, some more. There you go. See? So we had perfect camping food. Yep. And our two younger dogs are having issues. They will not go to the bathroom. And they don't want to eat or drink. So, well, they'll drink water, but they won't eat their food. So, and I've walked them miles and miles and miles and they just they just don't want to go yet so it's going to take a little bit they probably will just wait till we get home and then uh, the next time out <clears throat> which probably be about two or three weeks maybe I don't know depends on what the weather is going to be like uh, we're going to have to go for two days so um, they will have to go to the bathroom sooner or later unfortunately that I think that's the only way we're going to be able to do it so we're going to finish up our breakfast, get everything ready. I already got my shower. Vicky's got to get all ready for the day, which I think she's just about ready. I'm all ready. She's all ready. And then we're going to take the dogs out and we're going to explore the park a little bit. Actually, we explored it, but um, we're going to uh, show you around the park. And it is full. There's, I don't think there's any campsites open. Okay, we're walking out to the pet friendly beach. Well, because the Lake Huron is so high, there is no pet friendly beach anymore. It's all gone, including, <laughs> yeah, it washed it all away. So that was all beach out in there, which it will be again. It's just gonna take some time for the lake to come down. Okay, these campsites here is uh, one, two, three, four, five of them. Uh, they're all washed out from Lake Huron, so it's gonna be a few years before these are available. Oh, well, there's a couple more up there, so it looks like about seven, maybe eight. Camp sites are not too bad. Some of them are pretty close, but most of them are pretty far away. Yeah, that's another one we had picked out, site number 88, which, that's a pretty good one. And there's our campsite, which is uh, site number 80, and it's a nice, spacious site. We just don't have enough leveling blocks. So, it was a little crooked for us to sleep last night, but that's okay. We'll be ready for next time. Just about ready to go here. Just getting the dog situated and uh, go to the dump station. So we're uh, waiting till the last minute to get out of here because the campground has emptied out and we don't have to deal with the lineup at the dump station because we're only 45 minutes from home and it's not that big of a deal. Even if it was uh, four or five hours, still not that big of a deal. Okay. See if we can make it out of here without ripping anything down, which should not be a problem. Cord's all wrapped up. Everything's all good. Oh yeah, if I don't put that thing on. Yeah, that's about annoying. But you gotta have what you gotta have to keep from bouncing or beeping, I guess. But oh. Still a great time camping today or last night. 
I'm tired. You're tired. <laughs> I didn't sleep very good. She's all still worried about everything, but that's okay. Well, it's just in your different surroundings, different bed. And which the bed is comfortable. Probably been a little more comfortable if we we're a lot more level. Because we are off by quite a bit. It's kind of neat to see how everybody camps. Yes. They all have great ideas. And it all works for them. Yep. Brand new campers, big old motor coaches. Tents, slow pop tents. And they have screen house tents to put in if they have many people camping. They store all their drinks and snacks and whatever else in, in there and they all just go and come and go as they please. Yep, and there was uh what three campsites that are all right together and they had a great big old huge screened in tent there. So uh yeah, was... and they were having a good time. Yes they were. <laughs> Oh, lot, not as many kids running around as I thought there would be. It's just more uh, people our age than anything else here. It's kind of weird. I'm not expected to see that, I guess. Oh, I missed the turn for the dump station. Well, I guess we'll have to go back around. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Looks like there's a few people waiting. Yeah. That's oh, good. that's not going to stay there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, See this? Back it up. There you go. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> this is how much moisture is in our camper. Yeah. Um, the lady that um, sells campers in our area, she told us to get one of these for our, inside our camper. But, you know, we've had issues with lots of rain, so. Yeah. Anyways, i got to find a different spot. Yeah, yeah, that one's bunking her head. Bunk, yeah, bonking her in the head. Oh. How are we going to do this? Oh, we turn right here. Oh. Let's see, this is... Is your... your it's on my side. Okay. Oh, those people just left. Yep. Where all those kids were screaming and yelling. Yep, kids are having a good time. I think he's a. Yep. What is that can for? That's for your gloves. Oh. So on this trip back into town, at back into home, I guess. Uh, Vicky left the couch in versus having the bed out for the dogs to lay on, and. Uh, I think they're a little more comfortable, plus we all got a little bit more room, so that's probably how it's going to be from here on out. I just got to get another dog bed for in here. I brought the one from home, but um, I need to get one more for in here because the dogs, they, that's their safe spot. They like the, to lay in their bed. Right. And uh, our Abby dog here laying right next to us, so we got to get a bed for her to lay on because this it floor gets, is warm. That's yeah. where the engine and transmission are here. So it's a, it was a successful night of camping. They did pretty good. Yes. So we still got a little bit of work ahead of us, but that's okay. You know, we're none of us are all used to camping yet. Because we haven't gone camping in 10 years. So I go home and we empty everything out that we need to empty out and clean it up for the next time yeah and I am gonna to have to get the ladder out and seal the driver's side like I did on the passenger side because uh, when we parked it in the back I don't know if I mentioned that already we were sloped down and a whole bunch of water run off into the corner yeah, I had and um, onto the floor. I had the dogs' um, blankets in the corner, and it's like, why is these blankets all wet? And I touched the floor, and the carpet was completely saturated. And then we figured that's coming from there. Yes, because the uh, 
the um, there has been water running down by uh, on Vicky's side down the door frame. I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. I thought it was from the door seals, but the door seals are all like brand new. So I'm thinking that's what's going on. Is it's run like it did on the other side. It's running down the railing or the rail uh, where the uh, rubber roof meets the fiberglass sides, I guess. So anyways, like we say, every time we take it out, we find something else. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna be, like, we've only got $200 in repairs in it so far. So that's not too awful bad. And um, this, is, this is our second home, so we gotta keep it up. Yeah, and we're gonna get our fixed here and get everything set up the way we want because we're still going to be doing a lot of uh, traveling hopefully until it snows or it gets cold enough where we're not going to want to travel. Yeah, because once we're going this, out of the cold. Yeah, because if the roads are anywhere near icy, we cannot leave. We're not leaving. Okay, so I just got done vacuuming my carpet with my new little vacuum cleaner. And we are at home in the driveway. And because uh, we had to come home and clean everything out, get it all ready for next trip. Yeah, and it's uh, uh, we got some repairs. I did seal since we've been home, I did uh, seal the whole outside uh, railing. Well, hopefully, that'll take care of the leak, but uh, this leak is um, gonna drive us nuts for a while, so hopefully, it'll dry out. Um, I don't know if it will or not. It's just kind of right above our head. I'll show you before uh, or at the end of the video here. But um, the valves for uh, the water, like the city fill and all that stuff, uh, the one on the left that controls from the city fill and all that other stuff, that's the one that is bad. So I got to find out which uh, brand it is. So I'm going to have to go through the uh, all the manuals that we have to figure out which one, which uh, brand it is to replace all that. Because uh, what it is is it's stuck at, like if we were someplace that didn't have running water and we wanted to fill our tanks, you could pull it out of the like the river or lake or whatever if you wanted. And that's where it's stuck at is to pull it everything in. And so I don't know if there's a set screw in there that loosened up or if the valve is bad or what it is, but. Either way, i got to take it all apart, and uh, hopefully I can find it on YouTube. I've been looking a little bit here and there, and I haven't found anything. But more than likely, I'll just tear into it myself and fix it. Yep, just go to YouTube and find out what's wrong. Yeah. Which I don't know if I'm going to have. It. But either way, it's just a valve. i just got to find out the brand, just order another one if anything else. But And then we have a small leak under the kitchen sink. The pipe is leaking. Uh, which is drain pipe, which, you know, it's probably just got to... I did tighten it up a little bit, but um, since the valve is broke, we have no water inside. You can turn a pump on and nothing will happen inside. So I have to get everything fixed. And I'm hoping, to, or we're hoping to be out camping again in two weeks. So I have two weeks to get everything done. Providing the weather holds up for us and it's uh, nice like this weekend was pretty decent. So, uh, you got anything else to add to that, Miss Vicki? No, I'm tired. <laughs> Yeah, it was a, a quick little trip for us. And uh, I'm thinking that's pretty much going to be it for us for today. So. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for when the next video is up on Vicky's Outdoors. And always enjoy the outdoors, whether it's just being outside, working outside, whatever you want to do outside. Peace. Goodbye. I don't know how much of it you can see, but this is uh that's water soaked.